What's up, everybody? How you feeling? How you doing? How you be? D Kemp 2 here. Um, I'm starting this channel up because a lot of people are interested in the adult family home business. It's similar to like daycare centers or one of those small businesses that you can open up without having a ton of money and a, a ton of resources. Something that you can start from the ground up all by yourself. A lot of people ask me how I was able to open up an adult family home. A lot of people ask me what kind of business I have and how I was able to open it, how I was able to get started. Or some people are absolutely interested in the industry already and they just don't know how to get going. Um, I want to touch on all those things, but what I really want to do, what I really hope to accomplish with this channel is to show you how to be successful while doing it. I don't want to... Uh, just give you the fluff, the numbers, and be like, oh yeah, you can make a bunch of money, and you know, it's real easy to do. It's far from that, and you won't see that until you see the daily grind that's behind running a home. So that's my really huge goal for this channel, not to just show you how to get going, but to show you the whole series of how to hire employees, you know, how to go out and find members and residents, how to negotiate contracts, uh, how to put the paperwork together to, to start the home, um, how to keep the paperwork going to, to continue the home, um, how to satisfy the case managers, the, the, the management care organizations you're working with. Um, a little bit about me and my credentials. Uh, I am a firefighter. Uh, I partnered up with another firefighter. That's how I was able to um, afford to make this happen um, and also have the patience to, to make it happen. And that's this one thing. Everybody's so eager to quit their day job to, to run their own business. This takes time. So keep your day job for as long as you can to support your business. That goes to me for any business that you, that you want to get created. Um, but as I was saying, my, a little bit my, about myself, my credentials, um, I've tried a number of different businesses. I've tried create adult family home uh, more than once and had a couple failed attempts there too. I finally at a point where I feel like um, I'm uh, successful at starting it, running it, and keeping it going and thought I would share that. <clears throat> so I think that we definitely found a, a, a nice pathway to success. So this, this channel won't only be for people who are trying to start from the ground up. This is also for those who have adult family homes already and trying to figure out, man, how did they grow so fast? And how, how can I grow my business? Because it's definitely uh, some tricks to the trade that we had to figure out along the way that helped us to grow uh, in a much faster rate. If you're kind of curious how, how much the normal person grows or uh, the person who showed me uh, how to uh, get adult family homes up and running um, that I kind of mirrored myself after they were up and running for about 10 years and in that 10 years they opened uh, four or five homes uh, and also like an in-home care piece they opened up too um, which I equate to like having another couple homes so in that in that 10 year time period they opened you could say eight homes um, we've been able to do that in half the time um, thanks to people like him um, who have been willing to share that knowledge and help us to grow. So I want to do the same thing also. Um, a lot of people are real hush-hush about a lot of things in this industry, uh, especially when it comes to like rates and you know what you pay your staff, how you take care of your residents, paperwork. I'm gonna be an open book all the way around because um, it's the only way other people can really get, get in and be successful. I thought I would get a little up close and personal for this part. Anybody can be successful at starting up a business. You just have to have a lot of drive. You just do. Um, no one's gonna hand you anything. You gotta go get it. So, um, for me, the most crucial part of all of this was finding a partner. You need a partner. Get a partner. A lot of people don't want partners because they don't want to have to share the profit. But if you're growing the way you can, oh, that won't matter. You want to have a very solid partner 
that's going to help you grow the business financially and immense, mentally. It's just, it's a grind. You're going to want to have somebody you can bounce ideas off of and say, hey, you know, what about this employee? Should we let them go? What about this resident? Should we take them on? You know, what about this resident? Should we evict them? You know, so, so many different pieces. You want to be able to bounce other things off of those, those uh, friends and partners of yours. So how do you pick a partner? How, you know, how do you convince somebody to do this with you? One very important thing to convince somebody else to get down with you is finding somebody who owns a property or has some some money. They've been doing a great job of saving. Um, you yourself might own a property and think, okay, this is a great idea for me to do. And it is, it is. But it depends on what property you have. And to me, you still wanna have a partner because it's a lot, it's a heavy load to carry by yourself. I wanna go over all the specifics of how to start an adult family home and the step-by-step -step process, and I will. I'm going to show you different parts of the paperwork. So you have a program statement, you have an admission statement, you have initial support plans. Everybody uses all types of acronyms. I'm gonna break down those acronyms like BSPs and, and things like that. And I'm gonna show you how to do the paperwork. So that's definitely coming. Many times I had to talk my partners into staying into it because it's it's a it's it could take a solid year before you really get this up and running. It could take even longer. It could be shorter. So um, you want to have partners who are going to bail on you fast, and you got to be able to go to them and talk to them and to um, stay in this course with you. So let's say you don't have either. You don't have a partner who's got bunch of money under their pillow you don't have a partner who's got all his properties but you got somebody who is willing to get down with you cool that person has to be willing to make the same sacrifices as you financially because it's going to cost you got some money together um, the best thing you could do is try to rent instead of like buying a house try to rent from somebody who again is okay with you turning the place into a business you have to convince them that no matter what happens with the property on the business level, you'll take care of it. So if it needs uh, smoke detectors, which it does, if it needs um, a fire extinguisher, plexiglass windows, if you're going that route, uh, if it happens to need like furniture nailed down, whatever the case may be, um, you'll need whoever you're renting from to be cool with that. So that's a big point. Also, when you send in your paperwork to the state, they're also gonna ask to see a letter or something from the actual owner of the home stating that they understand this is being used for a business, this is an LLC. So keep that in mind. That's the reason why it's nice to partner up with somebody who owns properties or at least owns a property because you know now they're that person. So that's, this video I wanna focus on, you know, finding the right people and finding the right property. So when you're, when you're looking for a property, you wanna make sure you have a place that can house four people, you know. Majority states have four bedroom uh, adult family homes, three to four bedroom adult family homes. Uh, some places have uh, community-based residential facilities, CBRFs, um, that's like five or more. Um, getting like to like a mini nursing home type of deal. I don't do that. Um, they're, they can definitely be profitable, but um, they have a lot more regulations behind them. So you have to have sprinkler heads and uh, fire walls and a lot more comes with that. And to me, you can make just as much or more uh, with an adult family home because the rates usually for adult family homes are higher because you can take less people. So I'll talk about, a little bit about that more, but just to stay focused, you definitely want to pick the right type of house. That's huge. You want to have a, perhaps a ranch style house that makes it so that you can make a wheelchair accessible. Um, you want to have a house that's big enough for everybody. The living room area has to be able to fit all four clients. Same thing with the, the kitchen area. You want to have a table that has enough space for four people to sit down and eat a meal together um the bathroom you only need one bathroom the bedrooms if possible 
have a four bedroom home, even if you have to remodel the house, try to make it four bedroom so you don't have, the residents don't have to share a room with anybody else. You'll thank me later, trust me. Um, but that might be unavoidable with your budget or the home you have. So make sure it's at least a three bedroom home. Um, if you got less than a three bedroom home, you got like a two bedroom home and you wanna get this going, there are other methods you can can work out to get like a one or two bedroom certification. That's a lot tougher unless you already have your foot in the door. Um, it's, a, it's a fabulous way to get going if you can, but it's, it's tougher. So I'll talk about that in a later video, um, but it can be a key to success. So once you found your place, you wanna look at your state's regulations on how to start a home. They're all pretty much standard. You have to watch some type of video that breaks down what a home is all about and get the, keep the certificate for that at the end. And then start working on your home because it'll tell you, okay, you need grab bars in the bathroom. You need to have a carbon monoxide detector in the basement. Each room, bedroom needs to have a smoke detector to it. Um, the smoke detector that's coming off the kitchen has to be so many feet away from the kitchen. It has to be a hush button detector so that they can press the button in case it's going off, they don't take out the battery, they just push the push the button to silence it. Um, the fire extinguisher must be placed there in the, in the kitchen area. Same thing in the, in the basement or along the stairwell. So there's a lot of different small rules that you want to pay attention to as you're putting the place together. Don't be intimidated by any of them because none of it's difficult. It's just regular stuff that you would do to a home. Um, that's why I like to do adult family homes instead of CBRS because it's not like you have to tear down walls and, and put up fire doors and things like that. Um, like a bigger nursing facility would have to. Adult family home is meant to be like somebody you know from like a family member or something like that that could actually live with you and you take care of them and, and be compensated for that. That's the, that's the concept behind an adult family home except you're taking it beyond being a family member. You're taking it to be in people that just need help and housing and a helping hand. So that's what this is all about. If you have the desire to help people and you're not squeamish when it comes to you know, uh, taking care of people who are going to go to the bathroom on themselves, who are going to vomit, who are going to be disrespectful, have bad attitudes, uh, you know, people who cry a lot, who are grumpy, um, people who are autistic. There's a lot of different people that need help and placement in adult family homes. And what you'll find is that a lot of times with your staff, they'll they'll say like, we, you know, this is, you know, He's so mean, he's grumpy, you know, he threw a, a plate at me, this is not right, you know, but you have to remember, these people are, they ain't needed placement for a reason. Some of them have families, some of them have spouses, some of them have kids and grandkids, but they don't want to take care of their loved one because their loved one is grumpy or, or different, you know, or they're, they're, their needs are too high. So you gotta realize the reason why we're getting hired and paid to do this job is because it's not gonna be easy. Um, so you have to be convinced of that, your staff has to be convinced of that. One, one, I'm gonna have a whole video just dedicated to getting your hands dirty because a lot of times people just wanna own, 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 point fingers, tell everybody else what to do. No, you gotta get your hands dirty if you wanna be successful in this business because otherwise it's gonna fall apart. Even if you get up and running, it's gonna fall apart because no one's gonna care about your business like you can. And if you can't get in there and put your put your gloves on, get your hands dirty, your, your crew is not gonna follow you. Um, so with that being said, the, the biggest points of this video is, one, finding somebody to get down with you, a great partner that's gonna share the load and willing to take this journey with you. Two, find a place. You got those two things, a place, a partner, and some paper, because you're definitely gonna need some money. Uh, get, get those three, three, three Ps in place, and you can definitely start your own adult family home. In closing, thank you for coming to my channel. Please like and subscribe and all of that. I promise I'm gonna bang out as many videos as I can, and we're gonna go step by step on how you can start your very own adult family home and not just start it up, but be successful with it.
that's my goal for you. It's my goal for me. I recently started uh, helping somebody else open a home. All right, now I'm helping two other people open open a home. And that's what made me decide to start a, a, a video a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna show you how we're going with them from ground zero. So even later on tonight, um, we're doing some paperwork. Huh? More than anything, what I can't, what I'm really excited about you guys seeing is the daily madness of, of owning and running an adult family home. Things you'll run into and the hurdles you can jump over and just the fun you're gonna have doing this. So thanks, like, subscribe, join up, follow me, and uh, you'll really love this roller coaster ride. Thanks for watching, appreciate you. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.